It was a cool, beautiful day on the island of Sodor. A lot had gone on over this past year, especially with the fact that they had to encounter some old enemies, new ones, and had to be dealt with. Thanks to the arrivals of Joey and Mickey, they were able to take care of some, but not all. Thomas and Percy were hanging out at Vickerstown with Fergus. Man, a lot has gone on, hasn't it? Oh, I know, said Thomas. No wonder. Percy was envious. Hmm, I imagine you still have that little bravado with that engine that you met last year. In fact, said Fergus's driver, I see him right now. Everyone looked up. There they saw the big city engine at the turntable. He was the very same one that insulted Percy a year ago about being five minutes late with Edward and his passenger train one year ago. He still wouldn't let go of it as the reason why he joined the Alliance. The big city engine was busy rumbling as he was turning on the turntable. He was looking to pay everyone out, despite the fact that it was just him, Crobin, and a few others that were remained. But it was about to get come up and see than he thought. Whatever happened, the driver, the engine, or whatever, he fell off the turntable. The fire tried to apply the brakes, but it was too late. The crew said their farewells as they plummeted off the cab and in and off by the side of the engine, crashed into the ditch below. Duck and the others were about to leave to Sodor and saw this. Who oh dear, seems that uh, our foreign fellow is uh, doesn't know his ways. <laughs> Going up the ditch, it's funny. <laughs> I must say, he's still going to have a swim like he did a year ago. Oh, oh dear. Duck and the other passenger train to go. Passenger wow, trouble. Him to the oaks and sell buys in the passenger buildings. So the guard said, You know what? Do as many selfies as you want, said the guard. The engine chuckled, and so were the drivers and firemen. Even the coaches chimed in. They, uh, saying so chanting nonsense to the big city engine, still muttering about it in the ditch. The engine felt terrible, but then. A familiar figure arrived, Sir Topham Hatt. Hmm. You have finally met your match at long last. You will stay there for the rest of the day as punishment, and then I will decide what to do with you later. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, big city engine, for your alliance with the Decepticons, and many other reasons, including insulting my number six. The big city engine felt terrible as he sat in the ditch all day. But that evening, as everyone went home, he was lifted out of the ditch. The road of sleepers were put on his wheels to keep him from the mud. A strong cable was attached to the back of him, and Percy, who had the arm, was able to pull the... Late that night, Percy sh sheds. <laughs> Serves you right there, you, you foreign fellow, said Percy. All the engines laughed and chuckled at their victory. <laughs> Another criminal caught. <laughs> Expect Joey to have a conversation with you there, my friend. Indeed, said Thomas. The foreign engine only looked sadly at his buffers for what he did. Well, goes to show you, got to pick the winning team, my friend. And unfortunately, you made the wrong choice. Enjoy your time as Joey will interrogate you to death. He may send you to Railgate. Fergus and Thomas laughed, and they both made their way back home. Goodbye. But Thomas was a long and loud triumphant. One down, one to go. 
Indeed. Well, my, my, uh, my fellow, seems you won't be to uh, complain about a time limit. The engine said nothing. He sighed heavily. And that must be my cue. Until then, everyone, till all are one, till all are one. And so, left with this tow cable, which was actually Gordon's tow cable, way home. When, they, when the clearance was cleared, Fergus, Thomas, and Percy made their way back to the Jeff's sheds. They talked about their little celebratory win, and the fact that their criminal is going to be sent to Railgate. That night, the big city engine was all alone at the Vickerstown sheds, a sadder and yet wiser engine. <laughs>